Hello everyone to a new YouTube video here on the channel The Ancient Law Gaming. Um, today I want to show you guys a Sultite ramp deck. Um, I used to do a video for Lotus Box, a Sultite ramp, but this is a different version. And the version you're going to see here is the version that Crooky sent in to me. And we were talking about some certain cards. And you see cards the main board that usually are also sideboard cards, but right now the meta is kind of dense to, towards certain decks and we try to tackle this with this configuration and yeah, uh, shortly going over each card. So we have this one of Lantern, which is the first sideboard card I mentioned. Um, it's good against Uro, it's good against Cats, um, so we just have already the two most popular decks there and that's why it's a one-off and worst case we just recycle the card. Free of cost, every deck Literally every deck is has green in it, except maybe Rakdos and Esper, but ne. Nah. So yeah, Gust is a really good tempo deck, good against Reclamation, Chant and other decks. Uh, Agonizing Remorse I think is actually better than Fort Erasure right now, because you cannot get Disputed. Um, surely you have not a Surveil effect, which would be really nice in this deck. Um, but on the other hand, you can also exile something like an Uro and they don't get it back. So also all the cards like Cats, uh, Ghost Rider. Um, so I think Remorse is slightly better than for the Ratio. Also the mana limitation is better. It's only um, one black and one colorless. Yeah, three of them. And here we're going to see the Wilt, uh, another sideboard card. Uh, so basically the first, first card here is all sideboard cards that we have in the main deck here. Um, Wilt. Um, two mana, destroy target, artifact enchantment, it's just uh, right now there's a meta where like literally every deck runs artifact or enchantment and if we face one that doesn't, we just can cycle it and fill our graveyard, really great. The, 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 the classic cards in ramp decks as usual is a growth spiral, two mana, draw a card, uh, you can put a land in battlefield tapped, another crucial ramp card is Uro and yeah, three mana same effect than growth spell you can you gain free life and you can escape it for four and you get a six six body whenever it attacks you get free life and draw a card and the same effect as uh, when it comes in the game amazing card um this is mainly our main main cone but obviously there are more but urush is so strong then another card is extinction event i think this card actually makes this deck um, viable again um it's a uh, Pseudo sweeper, let's say it like this. Um, you pay four, you get to choose odd or even, and then exile each creature if coming out of mana cost of the chosen value. Um, that works against ambush perfect because it's four and zero. Um, it works against multiple decks, it's also nice against Rakdos, against the aggression deck. It's basically a sweeper and it exiles. So you can, if you don't have an Uro, they have an Uro, you can exile the Uro against Chant you exile their cats if they don't have an oven. So yeah, it's a really good card, two of in the main. Also you play two Tomio. Uh, Tomio uh, fills the graveyard for Uro. Tomio gives us recursion on our cards. Uh, if Tomio sticks on the field too long, the value you get from this card is really, really good. Um, yeah, and on top of that, um, her passive is, is kind of cute right now. Uh, <laughs> spares and abilities your opponent controls can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanence. It's okay against certain decks. Um, yeah, two of Tamiya here. Then we play the old Nissa Crazies package. Um, we have three crazes, um, a Simic and X, um, Flying Trample. Um, you pay X four, so it, it becomes a two, two creature. You draw half of X and you gain life health of X. So you would draw two cards and gain two life. Uh, it would be a four, four. Um, yeah, Crazy is a really strong card, especially for Nissa, because Nissa's passive says whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional forest. Um, yeah, this is amazing. So this combination gives you sometimes a 10-10 plus Crazes, and on top of that you get always a creature. Nissa is always so strong, and now with the current bands, uh, Nissa cannot get stolen from Agent anymore. Yeah, so this is also Wincon, obviously, and now we go to one of the biggest spell we can ramp into, which is Casualty of War. Uh, six mana, choose one or more, destroy target artifact, destroy target creature, destroy target enchantment, destroy target land, destroy target planeswalker. Against Chant, this card is, is really great. Against against Bunt, it's okay. Um, against Reclamation, it's not that good, but yeah. 
So this is the main deck and we have another two Shark Typhoon here. Um, also an X Cycling spell which is nice for Nyssa and sometimes you just want to get a Shark and block or deal with something. But you can also play it as an enchantment. Um, you get a six mana enchantment when I play a non-creature spell you get that Shark which has power and toughness X equals to the spell we the spell cost we played. Yeah, so this is the main deck. Um, I shortly go over the sideboard and then we talk about the good and the bad matchups. So in the sideboard we have two Legion Dance to hit the creatures, low creatures. It's really good against uh, the Rakdos Junt decks. Then we have Noxious Grabs to deal with uh, Nissas, Uros, Teferis, and those kind of things. Two additional wilts to really have a good game against Rek plus Junt. Dispute some counters against the... Uh, Let's say, I would say mostly Reclamation and Bunt. Uh, you have also one of Narset, if you find that occasional cycle. And it's really good in the mirror match against another Sultai deck. It's also good against Rek and against Bunt. Craft Canarium just to shut down all the Rakdos deck completely. Extinction Event, also an additional uh, sweep effect. And one of the cool card here, uh, Fort Distortion. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> try this again. Fort Distortion, six mana. Uh, the spell can't be countered, uh, target opponent reveals the hand, exile all non-creature, non-land cards from the player's hand and graveyard. Yeah, this is a card we're definitely going to use against Reclamation. So right now, usually the Sultai deck had problem against Reclamation. Uh, right now we try to fix this with uh, certain main board cards here. And also we try to fix it with additional wills and fort, duration, fort distortion. The Reclamation decks, they tend to have Ambush or main now, which makes this a little bit weaker. So keep in mind, against against Reclamation, you need to keep in the Extinction event. If you know they have Ambusher and usually they have post side, but not if not even the main. So it is important to have the event in. And what you're going to do is you side out all the casualties or maybe three of it. You're going to side out one is uh, Tamio. And you're going to add all the Wilts, Disputes, Narset and Fault Distortion. If you have more questions and you really want to have an in-depth sideboard guide, feel free to ask me about this deck. Um, I provide it. Um, but I'm just briefly going to go over it. And yeah, so I would say Reclamation is not the best matchup. Reclamation and Mono Green are not matchups we're going to face. It has an okay matchup against Bunt and it should destroy Chant. Uh, yeah, overall it has many good plays. You can ramp, it has life, it has removal, it has Nissa, it has win cons. It's just a really cool deck to play and yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy the games. See you. We can start. Um, we got the ramp, we got a Tammy and we got a Gust. I think we're gonna keep this. Um, it's always nice to see a ramp spell in your hand. Um, we're gonna start off with the Thagor of Triumph. Followed by probably an island into a uh, gross barrel and watery grave. Okay, that's interesting. Um, this could technically be a reclamation deck with dispute, so I will shoot this off in our turn. Next time we have two options, uh, we can try and resolve Tamio. Or we can just can play a Remorse and a Gust. Um, the way it is right now, I would like to start this with a Remorse. They need a, a negate to deal with this, and usually the Reclamation decks, they do not have um, two mana counters, some run negate, but usually they have Dispute and Neutralize, and both would not work in this situation here. Okay. So I guess Support is thinking if they should cycle or use their growth spiral right now. And yeah, well, we do not want this. We want to keep this and I mean, we use the Gust here just um, so the expansion goes on top. If you would look for a land here. Um, they have a negate and I think I will just get the negate here. So with the negate there, we can 100% um, resolve our Tamiyo. Sure, they can ramp, but they only have one land and they top the expansion here. It's uh, kind of strange. So this way they have no access to uh, Dispute and uh, Blue. If they fired off Gross Spiral, it would have been possible. Four mana on their side. And yeah, we're going to fire off our Tamiyo. 
going into Anissa for now. Let's put some pressure. Found Anissa. Putting down the lands. And that's it. So having Tamir and Anissa here is a lot of pressure, right? Um, opponent still um, needs to find a counter to deal with our Anissa. Sure, um, they can make a 2-2 here with their Shark Typhoon end of turn, but that's still fine for us. We can also minus with Tamir to, to get another card out. Um, but for now we would like to find a Wilt. A Wilt seems good to me because we can fire a Wilt of Anissa. So they're shocked in here. Which is quite interesting. So before we do anything, we either go for the Gust or for the Wilt right now. So the way this looks right now, they want to set up a Shark Typhoon as a 3-3. But I'm totally fine with that. Um, we're going for a Wilt because we can play it off the Nissa. We did not find it. We're gonna play here our Nissa. I mean, they can try to find a counter here. Uh, totally fine. Um, it would be obviously a top deck. Um, so it's 100% uh, correct to play Nissa here. We do not run any counters in the main deck. So we didn't hit a single Ur, which is kind of strange, not gonna lie. Um, which makes me wanna play... Yeah, it actually wants makes you want to play an other uh, plusing Tamio again, just to just to get that Uro. Um, yeah, we use this land um, just for the Grow Spiral here. Uh, we will not use the Grow Spiral um, now because they can copy it. Um, we're gonna attack here. I don't think they will use their one one token here. And if they don't do anything, we just pat, we just end turn and let them grow spiral and do the grow spiral. So now, now we're actually gonna play it. So they cannot top it. We found the wilt. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, it's it's nice to have a wilt here. We just hope they didn't uh, have a land and reclamation here. That's definitely really important. We can think of uh, getting gust here and just fight with our Nissa for now. Um, they're still far away from playing the Uro. We have that one of Needle as well, but I think mm, it's hard. It's actually hard. Um, I still want to hit the Uro for my graveyard. I mean, the craze is obviously amazing. But we have to make sure that we keep our wild mana open. It's not an easy spot for opponent here. If we dodge the, if we dodge the Reclamation here, it's really good. Maybe they think of slamming. Okay, wow. That's the worst case scenario. We have to live with it. So they actually found a land plus a reclamation with uh, those cards. Um, that's okay. Two, three. They have four damage, so they cannot kill Nissa with uh, their expansion. Um, that's okay. That's okay. And we can get a card back. I think we just we have to wilt the reclamation and then maybe oh that's interesting, so we cannot get a card back. So their their goal is to uh, hit our Tamir here. If they tap out, obviously can get the the reclamation. Um, that's interesting. I mean, I think they have to shoot for four here. Hmm. We do only play two gusts though. Okay, so I think we're looking for a gust here. And we can also try to find the casualties. I think casualty may be better. And it's easier to hit, I guess. That worked really well. Yeah, I think the thing is just that we have four casualties left in the deck. Um, gives us a percentage-wise higher hit. 
Um, I tested multiple builds here against this, and usually you want to keep an extinction event, and you do, cannot play the cash release. I usually tried it. Um, there's a possibility that you have a one-off, but in the end, it every time it didn't feel correct to me. We also went with one extinction event, which is to deal with uh, certain cards, and usually you only play one Nessa in this matchup, because you really want to play uh, most of our cards in their turn. So this is the way I tried it today with Crooks together, and I think this is the correct way. Um, we had the most success this way. Uh, yeah, let's go. It's 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 a highly Uro based matchup, um, especially in this one. Um, you want to ramp into this uh, into thought distortion, but you always have to think. Many people adapt to Narset's reversal right now, which makes the thought distortion hit ourselves. And um, there was a funny game today. And maybe uh, upload the clips so you can watch it on my Twitter. Uh, one game where we hit the fall distortion really well and they had the Narset reversal while we top decked the one of dispute there. Uh, that was hilarious. And yeah. Uh, it's a long side build, yeah. but yeah, sure, 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 sure. I mean, you it's really interesting. This matchup used to be highly favored for Reclamation, but now with the Fort Distortion side and, like, and Wild Main, you get, a, you get a better chance. Definitely. And I think, I think Sulta is at a really good position. Y yeah, good. Those are all cards that are kind of good against the opponent, so... Yeah, we have freelance, we have access to every card. Um, yeah, sure. Um, usually we go with the remorse next turn because they need the negate. And yeah, so we also gonna set the blue down. Uh, the only way to deal with this if, is if they have negate. They cannot use their um, expansion here. And remorse also dodges the dispute and it excels. If they have growth spiral, we have to choose the reclamation. So as we just said, they have the Narsus, which is really interesting. It's kind of crazy that they did not use their negate. Well, now I go for the negate for sure. I mean, they knew I will do that, right? So they can cycle their Typhoon. Mm, that makes sense. I mean, I had to, and I knew it. Uh, okay, yeah. So, at this point, it's a bit tricky. Because we need the Gus for their reclamation, so we have to end here. We can still play Grow Spiral. They could technically play their Brazen Borer. It's kind of strange that they have the Brazen Borer in, but it's still okay against Uro. Okay, so if they go Reclamation, we're gonna play the Grow Spiral here. They could think of um, playing one of their cards here. But that's fine if we get something off here. If we draw a land, we're going to play Uro. Now, also, it obviously is great as well, but uh, it means that they resolve their reclamation, and I really want to have uh, at least one way to deal with it. So if I would get a Wilt off the Narset with five mana, it's it's a point where you could risk it. But at this point, it's, it's, it's not that easy. So, and I guess it's also a hard decision for opponent to do. Since we can ramp into four distortion, and um, okay, that's a good one. So we found the land, which means we can play the Uro. We could also have played the Narset here. Maybe this would have been the better call, but I play around another counter here. If we play the Narset, I can play their their Brazen. I will top this. 
Okay, so now they couldn't play the abrasion, so no aggression. Shock. It's interesting. Why did they shock here? Do they have a? What spell do they have besides the abrasion here? It's interesting. Um. It's a good it's a good card. Um because it fills the graveyard. I think I'm gonna keep this one actually. Fill the stack, gives us the ramp land. Um yeah. I think I'm gonna keep this here. Probably gonna play the brazen ambusher. Wow. Well, that's not so cool. We have to deal with this card. So sure, they have an Arthas reversal there, but we have to deal with that card now. Uh, this is going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. They are thinking of playing their Narset Reversal here. And I think they should. Now this card helps me working towards the graveyard as well. Um, that's even. Well. I'm totally cool with that. And... There's a point where I could already play this. Just to have the extra card to get in my graveyard. If they do not play anything. Usually you wait for Uro, but if they have Uro land at one point, it's okay to have this. And I'm probably just going to use it to do that, right? Um, they connect keep the brazen here obviously for the Uro which makes me want to play Narset. Because if I play Narset they are kind of forced to play their brazen. And at one point they also need to play their reclamation. And it's a good spot to play reclamation because they have a bounce plus the Narset reversion on hand. So I mean having this on hand and this two two mana spells, it's definitely good with the reclamation, so you can actually risk it here. And uh, not too many soul talisman run the gates, but it's actually sneaky to run it. Okay. We want to get out the uh, brazen borer here, so we do not even mind doing this. They don't have a draw spell right now. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Wow, that's a hot one. Okay, the problem is no matter what I get, I cannot play it this turn. If I would take Nissa, he can bounce my Nissa and resolve the reclamation. And then he needs a on top of that he would need the explosion to really get a payoff. Which is kinda awkward. We want him to play the brazen here. Okay, that worked. So that we can play those two cards. Definitely war first though. So we knew this gonna happen, right? 
Ah, maybe Nissa would have been better. I guess it's my fault. I still think you go for this card first. Yeah, we have to. There's so many good cards in the graveyard though, but I think we have to. Now we just need to hope they uh, did not find the counter here. Okay, that resolved. So I don't think they have a gust either. Gonna play an auto word here. Oh, that was a that was a decent draw. Um, because Wilt goes around dispute. That's pretty good. Because if they have only six lands and they want to play the Wilderness Reclamation, Wilt is better than uh, Gust. But they still have Narset's Reversal, which makes it awkward as well, huh? So maybe they're gonna try it. Which means we need to use the lantern there. It's an interesting turn here. Okay, does nothing. Huh. I mean, we're definitely gonna attack here. <laughs> That's a no brainer. And we're gonna try to resolve the Tamiya. Okay, dead in the gate, sure. Um, we cannot use the Gust, but we got a counter out, which is always fine. And now I think I'm just gonna pass. Could play a Wolf though. Hmm. Um, I think we're gonna use the Gust here. Main reason why we're gonna it's tricky. If we use the gust and they put it on top, they miss a draw. If they're gonna play the reclamation there, we want to wilt so they can reversal it back. But I think gust is correct here. We still have an Uro on the field, which is not easy to deal with. We're just gonna draw. Okay. That's okay. I mean, they can use the NOS as reversal, but it comes back on our hands. I think they need to use it. If they don't use it here, that, I, I assume they have a counter on hand, right? But it comes back on our hand. And now they have no target with it, so that's okay. I mean, I don't think we need to um, remove our enemy's graveyard right now. Um, but yeah, this looks good. So we target the wilt there. Yeah, we target the reclamation with the wilt there. Yeah, it's hard. You, you kind of have to, yeah. You have to do that. You need to untap your... But yeah, this is what's happening if we don't have another one. Um, yeah, I would I would scoop here as well, and we got this. So this is reclamation, uh, a matchup that used to be hard. Um, I don't know, worked really well. So yeah, let's go to the next game. Um, yeah, keep ramp plus payoff is a keep with uh, something between. Are you gonna keep that? Hmm. Molly got an opponent side. Mm 
-hmm. Probably start with the breeding pool. And then we go one of those for the black source if we have remorse, but um, yeah. Also, sometimes you can grow spiral into a grave just for the fake um, dispute. Phalanxes. Okay. Decided. Looks like Junt. Should be a good matchup for us. But yeah, depends on their version. But usually I like it. Uh, Either Ghost is a really good card. Double green, double goose. Okay. This is one of the best cards in this matchup. Definitely one of the best cards. Another green. What is what is going on here? This is not chant. This seems like mono green. Um. No, no, that's a no, that was a huge ramp here, that's definitely a no from our side, uh, we're gonna main this here, I think we do it just for the cycle here, it's a bit, it's for damage for sure. Um, that's tricky. At least, at least they need to, if they top deck a land here, it will be not so funny. Oh, that was clutch. Ooh, that was good. Oh, that's a hard one. The minus is also not fun. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a wow one. Um, we can get rid of the Mista, which is probably what we have to do. Yeah, we take this. So if a casualties, a crisis, and extinction event, in case they minus and get the a creature. Okay, so they don't do that. We go on seven. Paradise Street, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we have to go for it. Mm, black, black, green, blue. It's green usually here. Um, we take another set of damage. But we have to go for it. Now next turn we are forced to play the crisis and we hope we dodge uh, any haste creature. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, can happen, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous. Um, that's all I have to say here. That was definitely ridiculous. How in the world? Um, cry, maybe it's overkill <clears throat> this much. But Legion, maybe Legion and Overcry. Wow, this was this was crazy. It's actually crazy. Play all the removals. If we go down on this, casualties is still good here. They play a lot of planeswalkers. <laughs> How in the world? What 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 did happen here? I like I mean like they needed like they had like one probably one card for exact little here. <laughs> I think that was actually the only card if you think about it, right? Uh, if you find the land, we have at least access to crisis. And we managed to gust the turn three Nissa. I mean like how in the world? This is crazy. Still speechless. No turn one, that's good. Yeah, Serpent. It's the only card I can play early on.
Yeah, now we need to find the land. If we miss a land now, it's gonna be hard. At least we found uh, something between. Okay. Noxious crab is really good. They played Hydra. Oh, they missed the land, huh? So they can use the gem race over this. So a lot of damage, but I need to find my land. Where are my lands? So they can use the gem race on the Hydra or, or that. That works as well. To find their land. Miss another land. Okay, found the land. And yeah. And we're gonna crack it wait. Beast, okay. It's fine. If you find the land here we're cool. This is crazy, to be honest. Um, if we manage that our Nissa survives, it's good. If not, this was too greedy. Um, right now, they could have a second taster. What is green and haste? Well, they don't. Oh, maybe they could have a... No, that's fine. Well... Actually, I don't know. Could they play a Nissa themselves? I'd rather block the land there, if they would play a Nissa. Mm. I think we're gonna block here. <laughs> Fill the graveyard for Uro. Make sure our Nessa stays alive. As good as we can, because they could play like a a fight spell with Vivian. Gem racer like this, that's totally fine. I think this looks really good for us. Green. Land creature. And then we do this. And then we play Uro. At this point, I think we're in a really good position. I don't think there's a way to get out of this. Okay. We have a Nissan board and Uro. It's, it's too many things to deal with, that's fine. We would not block this here though. At this point I don't care if Nissa takes for damage. Just gonna do this again. Right. Okay, yeah, this went this went okay. Um yeah, definitely not cry. Um Legion's end is amazing. Um they were really fast though. It's kinda of scary. I still think it's okay. Um Wilt is actually something that we could have considered here for the stone coil but we don't have um multicolor removal so we can usually deal with those type of things um i think we have to go we have like a removal we have a ramp and we have a, a hand disruption i think we have to at this point right we just need to find the lands that's fine yeah i mean we find the lands here that's okay it has potential if there's another goose this would be amazing if they do not play anything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We need to use the stone curl and we need to use the legion and on the stone curl. Because if they if they uh, mutate on it, we have no answer. 
Hit a four mana. Now this damage, sure. Okay, we're getting, we're going towards the card we kind of want. Wild Effort Beast and Anissa. I think Beast is the biggest problem if they find a land. Nissa is not good, but we soon have an answer to Nissa. We get. Ah, this is gonna be really close though. Really, really close. Maybe we can soak in some damage here with the Tamiya. Um, I think Gust is good. Ooh, Extinction Event. They have to attack the Tamiya here. Because we can go Extinction Event, Gust, next turn. Oof. How much damage is this? Oh, they win here. Never mind. They would have won anyways. I'm a sleeper, huh? Yeah. Mind the world, you just have 10 damage. Right? You won. Congratulations. Well, interesting game. Um, could I have done something different? I don't think so. Maybe I could have mulliganed, but... And I think it's correct to take the questing beast there. Maybe it was better to take the... Nah, I don't know. I still think it's correct. So yeah, this is Mono Green. They won. Um, this is a hard matchup for sure, but it was a good game. So let's do one more. Can start. Um, not okay. It's, it's okay. Chiganta. Okay, this looks like Rakdos. Rakdos or usually Rakdos or or one one Chan has this, but usually it's the Rakdos list. Or the chant with Corwald has this as well. Okay, let's see. This should be our better matchup now. Let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Wild is a really good card. If it's if I'm correct, and uh, it's Chant or Rectos. Okay. Yeah. The dealing of Oven here is good. Priest, sure. Makes sense. Um the thing with the sh the shock is really interesting here. Shock is a 2-2 to block something is fine, but that's about it. Uh, Mayhem though, oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's really good, but I think I have to. The Fable Passage here is a bit annoying. do it like this the priest right now is, is is definitely hard but as long as we don't play anything it's like whatever um finding casualties is is heavy i mean they have no way to deal with casualties um the problem with nissa is um they can claim our nissa land so this is a bit awkward as well cat okay I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shock typhoon and block the devil. It's, I think the best play. And they can think of uh, taking Giganta on the hand. I mean, if they don't have anything, right? I mean, they can sacrifice, but it's kind of awkward. Mm 
Wow. That's actually a wow. So if they if they play a land, they play Chiganta, and our extinction event will just be so good. Because we go uh odd. Right now I think we're just gonna shock Typhoon. Butcher. Okay. So what I can do is, okay, I think I have to do it like this. That's fine. I have to make a 4-4 so we can trade with the Mayhem Devil. Blue, 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 green. And the way we do, the reason why we do this is, um, well, actually, mm, maybe it's a mistake since we go for even right now. Because Priest and Butcher is definitely uh, more annoying. I could also go for the Butcher here, take 4 damage and go for Odd again. Because they could still play land. They could still play land priest, but they need the red. So they need to find a red source from the sacrifice. Um, which kind of, I mean, can happen, right? Um, do you want to block the devil or the butcher? I mean, opponent gives me a lot of time to think here. Extinction event on even is definitely good. I mean, Giganta is just a creature that does nothing usually and can not deal with Auro, but of course, they have a claim on their hand. But the claim is only good if they have also a way to sacrifice it. So, we, I think we have to go for even here. Um, opponent is uh, confused. I mean, this is an obvious play opponent. Um, yeah. That's okay. Okay, damn it. Okay. I mean, sure. That was good, actually. That was the best play, I think. But it's in combat phase, so it's okay ish. Yeah, yeah. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Cat. Okay, we have to go for extinction event odd here. Yeah. I need to keep my gust for my own Uro. And there's a chance that I have to cycle next turn to be able to play the Uro. Obviously, if they play Chiganta there, I use my Gust. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of damage. Cannot let this happen here. If they want to sack it here, okay, sure. But I cannot let this happen. I play Uro next turn 100%. Um, I think I even can, let me see, green, 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 blue, blue, green. No, green, green, green. So I have two open and it's not enough because I don't have a breeding pool or a second Trion. Priest is such a strong card. They play so well with that Priest. Um, two life is really low. And yeah, we are forced to play Uro and claim which just get us there. 
is the main problem. But it is what it is. Uh, wow, interesting card. Interesting card. We need to play, we need to hope that they don't have it. I mean, that's, that's what we do here. We have to hope. If they have claim, they have it. If they have one card, we do not know. Yeah, so, and yes, now we're gonna see if they have it or not. I mean, they could also top deck it. I mean, it's a no brainer. Yeah, they have it. They always have it. Easy. Okay, we go next game. That's a bit annoying. Against Rakdos, the wills are not the best, but poof, we have cards. We have cards. Gust is okay. This, this, this is bad. Casualties is still okay ish, but only two maybe. Wills is too fine as well. Lantern is fine. This is fine, this is fine. Uh, we can maybe go, do go down on the crazies actually. Crazies is uh, a huge claim target. It's the only card that we do not want to see is claim, right? Um, we, we knew they had a claim. Maybe I could have played it differently, but I don't think we have now because we needed to play the Uro to get the life. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem. The priest just won the game solo. Two mana creature. Um, that gets you caught draw, ramps you a bit, and makes opponent sacrifice a creature. Really, really good. Especially since we have not the big uh, threats. We have like big one single threats, but our board is not white. So yeah, it's a bit tricky. Start. Okay. I had better hands. Clearly, I had better hands. That's okay. We have a turn two play. It does damage, though. Well. Maybe I should have went for the claim there. Because they will take away our Uro here. Double Remorse is like definitely not what we wanted to see. I hope they play the robber. Okay, we're gonna lose the Uro. Tommy is decent. Sure, robber, it's fine. Uh, we can get the Uro in the graveyard. What do we want though? That's also interesting. Um, but I think it's better to start Tamiya here. Mm. Most of our cards are kind of awkward here. I mean, we want the land usually. Maybe just, maybe just go for a gust. That's okay. We found an uro and the gust, so that was a really good plus. The gust is usually for making sure that we get back our uro if they claim, or just gust they claim. And now I'm at the point where I have to probably minus for the breeding pool. <laughs> Legion's end is decent here. Well, that's a, that's good for us. Okay, we get a... That's really good. Yeah. We had a Gust and we had a Legion's End at this point. That was really, really good. Um, yeah. I think it's a good configuration. Maybe go for one more Gust. But th those cards are so strong. 
I think we go minus the remorse. I think was a mistake to keep in there. Uh, maybe we go to remorse. It's hot. It's hot. The remorse hit the claims. But definitely gust over remorse, I think, here. Definitely gust over remorse. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think it's correct like this. Uh, yeah. Rakdos. Rakdos, Rakdos, Rakdos. I think there was like a tournament where this deck did really, really well. But that was before Sultai got kind of like popular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, th <laughs> that's kind of awkward. If we had, if we have find a second, a second, black, it's really good. We take a lot of damage. But we cannot have them more aggression. I need to get this. If they have a land, my cry doesn't deal with this. They get a robot though. We need to find that land. And I'm forced to play my... Please don't with a black land. It was a temple though, right? Okay. Temple would have been still fine. I do it now. I know they're gonna do this. That's okay. Double robbers heavy. We need to hope that they don't with our black lands. Okay, that's a Nissa. That's fine. And the blue land. That was fine. Thank you, Robber. So if we find a black land here, this is win. Well, it's not a win, but that is heavy. Why not the gutter bones? Do you want to have a? Uh, did I miss? I mean, it didn't even matter, right? Okay, so that's fine. Oof, lantern. I mean, now it's okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, we get at least some life here. Okay, so we still have access to casualties, so we can deal with the red land and the oven. We don't care about the lantern. But we definitely want to get rid of the oven in case they find the cat. Well, we also have to be really careful about their claim since we are low. Pfft. If they have a cat, they have a problem. Two mana though. I still think it's correct to do this. If they don't use the lantern, we win. Now it is too late, especially with the gust here. We already played it. They probably just realize it now. 
They don't have red. Yeah, you can read it, but you have to do it differently. Okay. I mean, having Ura here is just huge. Another black source. Getting that extra draw now. Yeah, I think, yeah. It was an interesting set of magic. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, uh, I try to upload soon another video. Share and like this. Please subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitch. It's where I'm actually usually normally. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you another time. Bye.